Come to find out, picking your own topic is actually harder than them just giving you something to write about. English Composition too. Short video, uh, I don't really have a whole lot to say about this course. Uh, I'm just gonna give you an overview of it and one gripe I had about it and one gripe about just uh, WGU or PA graders in general. So English Composition 2, it's a PA course. You have two tasks within the PA course, but actually you really only have one task uh, because your first task is just basically you gathering sources and uh, you know, putting them into a little, it gives you a little template that you need to go down, and you can literally finish that in like two hours maybe. Uh, the most time consuming part of it is just trying to find sources for whatever topic you picked. So for example, me, I picked uh, how technology is affecting relationships. Uh, that's another probably the most time consuming part of it is just picking your topic. It's one of the first OAs that I've taken where you can actually pick any topic you want. You can do whatever you want about it. But you just have to, like other PA courses and tasks, you just have to follow the rubric of what they want. So anyway, that's pretty much all you need to do for task one. They give you the template and the course resources. Uh, you get eight to ten sources for whatever topic you pick, and you just go down the template and fill it all out. Uh, it's pretty simple, the first task. And now the second task is you actually writing the paper. Um, you can write it about anything you want, but you have to follow the rubric. Uh, you still need uh, like seven sources, but you can use all the same sources from the uh, task one and then transfer other them to the task two because your task one is pretty much just like the preparation for the paper. So that's what I'm saying. It's really kind of only like one task. It's like the first one's a summary and kind of like preparing you and giving you the sources and how you need to lay it out. And the second one is you actually writing the paper, which leads me to my gripe. So in the first paper, they want eight to 10 sources, you know, it's just websites, books, whatever, articles, studies, uh, whatever it is that you can find out there on the internet. Uh, and they want you to list them like they do in other, you know, WGUPA papers. They want you to list uh, all of your sources in the, uh, like, uh, the bottom page of your paper in a um, APA style format. So I did my task one, I turned it in with the APA uh, format. They give you a couple of videos in the uh, course resource to just go over and see, you know, how exactly you do APA. You can go to the writing center if you need assistance, more assistance, but it's really not that complicated. But anyway, I did the eight to ten sources. I did them in APA, submitted task one, and it came back. Uh, no revisions. Uh, it took three days. I got it back. No revisions. I copy and pasted the APA style sources from my first task onto my second task, and when I turned my second task in, it got kicked back because it said for not having APA style sources, which doesn't make any sense because they passed it on the first one, but failed it on the second one, and it's, it was copy and paste. It was the same exact source and the same exact style. I've noticed this with other uh, tasks and stuff, PA courses I've done at WGU, it does seem like the graders uh, that are grading the tasks for WGU kind of cherry pick. You know, it's like, oh, well, we've passed too many in a row. We need to, you know, set, kick one back so they know that we're actually paying attention or something. I don't know. It's just weird to me. Like, it doesn't make sense they pass it on the first one and fail it on the second one. But whatever. Uh, I made a, an appointment with my uh, the course instructor and she said, hey, this is just what you need, this is what you need to do to fix it, uh, which wasn't the way it was on task one, but whatever. You just, you just gotta play the game, you know? Just call them, see what they want. That's why I always tell people actually to err on the side of turning your paper in early. Uh, even if it does get kicked back, then you'll know exactly what it is that they're looking for. Uh, so that task two, it got kicked back for the APA style sources, and then it got kicked back because I didn't expand enough on one section. Um, the, what they want, I had like five different points that I did and instead of doing like two to three points with two to three paragraphs for each point, I did like seven points uh, and then just did one paragraph for each point. And you don't need to do that. You need to pick a topic, pick like three points uh, that you need to focus on and then you need to do two paragraphs for each one of those points. You need to do that exact thing or your paper's gonna get kicked back. So don't do a whole bunch of points and, on, and don't only do one paragraph per point. You need to do at least two paragraphs with, I think it was like eight to 10 sentences per paragraph. 
and you, yeah, you need to do two paragraphs for at least three points and uh, you need to double space like if you go into the course resource like i said there's a video that tells you exactly how they what uh font to put it in double spacing all that kind of stuff apa style format but um yeah that's pretty much all i have for this course uh it's a pretty simple uh, course you just have to you know i did what i i've done on other ones where i thought like i would just kind of go my own way because i know how to write the paper and they want very specific things so you just have to follow the very specific things and you'll do just fine well, that's it for this one. Um, I've actually been done with this course for like 11 days uh, and I've been working on C720, but I've just been deciding not to make this video. Uh, part of the reason, like my daughter has cheer, uh, school's starting back up here. Uh, it's just uh, things have been very busy and I've had very little time to even work on school. So when I do get a few hours here or an hour there, uh, it's either make this video or work on school. And I, I'm on a very strict, uh, deadline to do courses so I can graduate so I've always just been choosing to work on school but I finally uh, had a little bit of time so I figured I'd make this video uh, I've been working on C720 and I'm actually already done with it uh, so you're getting back-to-back -back videos today so that's all I have on English Comp 2 it shouldn't take you more than a couple of days it's not a hard PA to do uh, you just got to follow the rubric uh, but that's all I have and uh, I'll see you on the next one